no one thing alone is going to solve our problem. This also is a piece of a larger prevention um, effort. Senate Bill 577-FN would establish a three-day waiting period between the purchase and delivery of a firearm. A move advocates say would be a big step in helping prevent suicide. Putting time and space between someone experiencing suicidal thoughts and their access to lethal means reduces the risk of harm. It doesn't involve taking anybody's rights away. It doesn't involve taking anybody's guns away. That's a time period, that's 72 hours, that can be the difference between life or death for a person who's considering suicide. But some opponents say the bill is too speculative. Is it not likely that in many cases the person will wait the three days or will already, as, as Representative Muse said, already have a gun or some other weapon? Donna Morin honoring her son Nathan who died by suicide. He was funny and brilliant and meticulous and caring, and he never exhibited signs of mental illness. Nathan took his own life in January 2022 after a breakup. Morin says there's no doubt that a waiting period would have saved his life. That gun that he used was purchased legally just 30 minutes earlier. If, he, if Nathan would have had to wait three days, 72 hours, however you want to say it, then he wouldn't have taken his life because things change in 72 hours. Life moves along. Lawmakers also heard testimony for bills relating to licensing and background checks. In Concord, Hannah Cotter, WMUR News 9.